ओके नेक्स्ट टॉम हैज अ मॉडल ट्रेन सेट व्हिच इंक्लूड्स अ टनल दैट अ मॉडल पासेस थ्रू द एंट्रेंस ऑफ द टनल इज द शेप ऑफ अ पैराबोला व्हिच इज बीइंग गिवन h इज इक्वल टू -0.6x2 3.12x वे इज द हाइट ऑफ द टनल इन सेंटीमीटर्स एंड x इज द हॉरिजॉन्टल डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द बॉटम लेफ्ट हैंड कॉर्नर एट द व्हिच इज आल्सो दिस सो व्हाट Yeah, or else what you can do is you can graph oh, this. So, so, I, 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 <laughs> are, listen, 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 listen. That will be easier than minus b over two a. You'll get everything directly. Four five. So I'll simply go to plus three point twelve. Graph. Three point twelve x. Graph it. Are what happened here? I don't know. I I hit something wrong. Plus. Oh my god. Three point. One two x x. You graph this. G solve. Find the max. What's your max coming to? Two point six and this. So your axis of symmetry is your x is equal to two point six. Your x is your axis of symmetry of the vertex. That's it. So whenever they ask you the axis of symmetry, you find the word. Let us finish it. Calculate the volume of this pan. Now the cylinder. What is the formula? Volume of the cylinder. Volume is equal to pi r square h. So pi into twelve square into five. You put this on your calculator. You get the volume. I'm not writing the answers. I'll just show you the method. Part B. Gloria prepares enough dough to exactly fill the pan. I'll need the answer for this actually because then we have to use it for the next part. So I, I, I don't shape of a sphere. Wait, wait, no, I can't do that. So is it uh, so this is equal to seven twenty five with you wrote B not W. Huh? Even now, read properly. So twelve twelve because the diameter is twenty four, na? So divide. So yeah, radius will be twenty four divided by two, twelve. Radius is half the diameter. Now you are filling this in a dough, so volume will be four point three pi r cube. It's a sphere. Substitute. So seven twenty pi is the volume. Four point three pi r cube. Pi pi cancels. So r cube is equal to seven twenty into three upon four. And you find your cube root of that. So we can do it faster. So R is equal to eight point one four centimeters. Now, is it R square? R cube. R cube. Equals to eight point one four. The bread was cooked in a hot oven. Once taken out of the oven, the bread is left to uh, left it's in the it's kitchen. It's now the temperature is given by this model. Correct. Where A is constant, T is the time in minutes. This is important. T is time in minutes since the bread was taken out of the oven. When the bread was taken out of the oven, it was two zero five. Correct. Find the initial temperature. So whenever we're doing the initial temperature. You put time as zero. A into one point five one raised to zero plus twenty one. The initial temperature was two zero five. A plus twenty one. So A will be two zero five minus twenty one. So two zero five minus twenty one. So that's one eighty four. Opposite side, so also. Yeah, you can, but I mean, this is quite easy to do. So A is equal to one eighty four. Now put that one eighty four in the model. So what does the model become? Tell me. T at any time T will be one eighty four into one point five one raised to minus T upon three plus twenty one. I'm putting the value of A back. Where? I I got the value of A. I got the value of A using the initial condition. Yeah. I'm putting this value of A back in this model. Okay. So that I'll be able to find, I'll be able to find the temperature at any time. D. Now I got a complete model with only time and temperature as my variable. Sure. That's it. Now you have to use G solve. 
So minus p is upon it? three. Oh. That's now you put g solve simply. Find the temperature of the bread ten minutes after it's taken off the oven. Hmm. So put your t is equal to ten. Hmm. And you get your capital T. Okay. Uh, so 10 is equal to 1. No, no, not 10 is equal to. Oh, so t is equal to. Small t. Small t. Yeah. So t is equal to 1. Yeah. This class is messed up. Math, like, with AI classes, it's just something. It's too much of nonsense for most of it. But I'm so happy. Calculate. Calculate to the nearest minute the time. And solve. It can be solved. So it can be eaten. It can be eaten when the temperature tops 35. So you put 35. I do, I'm just putting the equation. You just do n solve and get these values. So now you put your temperature as 35. And then you put small t as. You, you are solving for t. Yeah, small t. Oh, yeah. shit. So I can't wait for 24 Correct? He's so yes. In the context of this model state, what does 21 represent? Is the room temperature. Remember, it's a room temperature. The temperature of the bread will not fall below that. Uh, 